Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Shifkumar and in today's video I wanted to talk about the LSM60 MTR IMU, another uh, inertial measurement unit from ST Electronics. And I basically bought a couple of them um, low cost IMUs to just test the accuracy and how um, how usable they might be in say a drone application. So what we have over here I have a very messy desktop. I forgot to clean it up, but nevertheless, uh, let me try to zoom in a little bit. Uh, I believe it's uh, yeah. So yeah, this is a DigiKey. Um, I got this from DigiKey. It's the LSM60 STEM TR from SM um, ST Electronics uh, from ST Microelectronics, and yeah, let's design a breakout board and see how to go about designing one. I've already designed the board, and what I have over here is let me bring up the. Um, so this is the IMU, so you can go to the. ST Electronics and LSM 60SM. It's a pretty inexpensive micro IMU. Um, and then you can go to the documentation and download some of the, the data sheet basically tells you how to design a breakout board and how to configure different and other peripheral devices. So what I have over here is the documentation. And I basically designed the breakout board based on the um, application hint mode one. The different modes. One is whether you want to connect a microcontroller directly to the LSM. Uh, mode two, you are basically kind of uh, daisy chaining from host to LSM, and then connecting that to external sensors to the I square C bus. And then these mode three and four, where you're connecting to camera modules. It has both SPI and I square C protocol in order for you to come interface. Um, but in mode one, we are basically um, working with the SCL and SDA and the SDA, which is the I square C protocol. So let's go and look into the schematic. So what I have over here is the um, is the LSM sixty MTR um, block over here. The I square C are both have pull up resistors of ten k, and I get this value from from here. It basically says that R RP must be 10k. Um, so where does it say? Um, yeah, so it says over here the pull up, the uh, pull up added is 10k ohms, and then all the other decoupling capacitors that are present um, in the VCC pin is uh, 100 nanofarad. So and they just basically do capacitance for um, for decoupling, um, basically, you know. Uh, smoothing out spikes and switching switching noises which will be connected very close to the VDD pins and those are 100 nanofarad and then I have a couple of pins now this is very similar to the other previous uh, base bond Bosch I basically this is the Bosch uh, SMD that I basically have sent for fabrication and I wanted the board to be exactly the same they're very small pin uh, chips so I you know why not make the board exactly the same so it would be easier for me to mount it onto um, a, onto a host say bread a host breadboard um, or a breakout board and then from there basically it should be um, just a matter of changing some code and uh, I should be able to get the um, get these pins or get this particular IMU working so let's look at the PCB um, it's a very straightforward PCB. It's the it's it's you know I have like the SCL, SDA, and some of the SPI pins on the left hand side, and then we got ground and VCC on the right. Now, a couple of pins I do not have anything connected. Uh, this is basically to keep it as uh, as similar to the one that I did for the IMU sensor, the Bosch one. And this specific this kind of this looks very similar to what we have here. The resistors are the pull up resistors of 10k ohms. And the capacitor is 10 nanofarad. So I just thought of you know doing a small little video. Um, I'll be sending this for fabrication too, and and just send it for fabrication. Let's be doing a fabrication output, and create the GUBA files. 
uh, like to keep this in millimeters the layers all layers uh, drill drawing and then just click OK and we don't need the cam file so I technically can close this and then we need to create the NC drill files so you go to fabrication output and NC drill files but and I'll put this in millimeter um, I click OK it'll create another cam file for the drill drawings close this off and just click save and save okay um, yeah another thing to just double check when you make changes like this and I'm not completely actually I shouldn't be generating an output uh, what I wanted to do over here is um, label these pins so let's do that right now um, what I'm gonna do is basically go to the top overlay and create the um, string and here I can um, hmm, basically put here as SCL it's too big just put this as maybe um, 0 0.5 no 0 0.6 Get 0.7. Put this as somewhere around here. I'm just gonna put the just have a little bit more fine control over my snapping. So set global grid to maybe 0.25 mm. Yeah. So something of the sort. You know, I actually you know what? I'm just gonna move this slightly over here. And now let's just create the tracks. something like that I guess I can just even okay and oh line keep this clean so now I can basically be uh, oh okay let's put this something like that so this could be SCL you can I think move this a little bit more over here um, SCL put this as A um put this as track connect this all right what is happening in here S D A and one P um is uh, an SDO slash SAO so for the I square C this particular pin will give us the the address so you can set the address of the pin by setting this to high or low and accordingly okay so this should look something like this which looks a lot better yeah and then here you can put your ground and then I can put here as VCC yeah so the VDDIO and VCC are basically set the same so if you look at the schematic I have um, VCC for 
and for the input output as well it's also connected to VCC so there should be like I guess 3.3 to 5 volts uh, we can have a look um, where is VCC controller oh, I guess it's VDD yeah so VDD is power supply power supply power supply and how much is power supply oh we can go to the main part yeah VDD is no connect VDD yeah so the supply voltage is maximum is 3.6 volts so you probably would power it at 3.3 volts and same thing for the VDD IO um, so 3.3 volts is is um, acceptable over here so I'm connecting both because the range is very similar okay and now we'll just do a design rule check again because I made some few minor adjustments nothing major and we have zero errors Yeah, and this is what the board looks like and then yeah I can generate the fabrication output Gerber all layers and drill click OK you can close this well actually you know what I will go to the folder and try to basically show where it's all generated so this should be in Ancient robotics uh, now the M projects and this is in the IMU LSM this should be in a project output so I'm just gonna delete everything over here because it's a generated file and from what I'm gonna do is basically keep this in here click file click fabricate output so just in case I'm not overriding anything I don't want to click OK and yeah it's generated all those files just click close scam you don't really need this then I'm just gonna click file fabrication output and we need to create the NC drill files millimeters and just click OK and it will create the MC drill files and then we can also close this as well click don't save um, I just want to make sure that I for the Gerber I put in a millimeter general millimeter drill drawing yeah so this is what it is and basically once it's done you just you know add to project it'll create this and then we send it for fabrication yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's what I really wanted to do. basically showcase it's a very simple breaker board and send it for fabrication and then uh, we'll be able to test in different IMUs there's one more board that I'll be testing or creating a breaker board for is this is the CEO which will be the next um, it'll be the next video Thank you all and uh, see you next time.